guys, thank you for watching. So I know it's been a while since I did my last tip video, but for the new year, I'm gonna be starting fresh, giving you guys a one tip or one topic to talk about every single week. Today, to kick off the new year, I wanted to talk about our obsession with our cell phones and smart devices, all right? What kind of hazards is this causing to our health? What can we do to prevent any hazards it may cause to our health? So I want you guys to know the radiation that comes off of a cell phone is non-ionizing type of radiation, all right? Electromagnetic radiation. It's something that comes out of our car radios, our microwaves. It's not that type of radiation that comes out of gamma rays or x-rays or any of those really strong radiation type waves. I know there's a lot of cell phones out there and a lot of smart devices, a lot of those things, so you guys could take it upon yourselves and look it up based on what you have at your house, but one of the biggest reasons cell phones can cause a risk to our health isn't because of the radiation. For example, I have my cell phone right here, guys, right? When I'm looking down on it, that's not good for my spine. When you bend your neck slightly, what it's doing is putting pressure on your spine because your head is heavy. All of that weight is going on your spine and this can cause a long-term effect for your spine. Now, I don't know how long down the road it would hurt you or even if it could hurt you the next day. I mean, everybody knows if you've been looking down for a long time, the next day or if you sleep a certain way with your neck bent, you wake up and you have a really stiff neck, right? So this is something that I want you guys to ignore. Don't look at your phone like this, don't bend your head. Just do anything you can to prevent your neck from bending in that degree. Also, at nighttime, take the brightness down. You don't wanna expose your eyes to that LED light when it's dark out because it's so bright and it won't do anything but cause damage to your eyes. So again, guys, not telling you not to use your phones. I'm not telling you that it's gonna cause cancer to you. You guys should take that upon yourselves to look up. There's a lot of research out there that's been done that can't find a cause of cancer from your cell phone, all right? But to combat that, there could be something that comes out a couple years from now. All right, there could be something that comes 10 years from now. We just don't know. So I'm here to tell you guys what you could do now to prevent any of those health risks from happening to you with using your cell phone or smart device. That does it for my tip video today. Please drop a comment below and let me know what you guys wanna see me talk about on these Tuesday tips. I'm gonna to try to keep them as short as possible and as sweet as possible. But thank you guys so much for watching for another tip video. My name is Brett Cap. I'll see you guys next time.